Hey guys, this is Jose. Back from seeing Lunar Skinner's one of their final tours because they're going to be retiring sometime this year or next year. But uh, I went to see them in 2022, and I was to say I, I had a fucking blast, guys. Out that there were there were times that I actually cried because I was listening when I went down. I was listening to Simple Man on the radio. It came on the radio. That was to be my number one favorite song they ever played because every time I think of that song. I think of my family and friends and my hero to look up to, you know. But uh, yeah, it was it was beautiful, guys, you know. And not just that, but um, it was also kind of sad in a way because they showed Ronnie Van Zant on the big screen, <laughs> the one and only, former lead singer, that is, the one to die in the plane crash accident. Um, due to engine fail, but um, yeah, it was it was beautiful how they showed him on the big screen. I cried at that one, you know. But yeah, it was beautiful. I was singing my heart out so he can hear me to show how much I'm a huge fan I am of that band. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm so emotional about it. It's just, you have no idea how much the huge band they, they mean to me. And they're, they're my favorite band of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, I forgot. Carried away on the crime. But, um, but, uh, yeah, they played Simple Man, Tuesday's Gone, um, Free Bird, that's like the final one they ever played because we were cheering and begging for it to come on because they they left the the, the stadium and then we were begging for it to come on one last time and they played fucking Free Bird, man. The best one of all other than Simple Man, in my opinion. But, um, yeah, to play that in Home Sweet Alabama, that smell, um, Call Me the Breeze, but uh, yeah, they played all the fucking best OG songs there is that you're gonna get that are good from them. I mean, don't get me wrong, all the songs are good, but this is like the ones that I live with all my life, you know, because they came from the OG members and stuff like that. But um, the OG Leonard Skinner band, that is. But uh, but yeah, guys, I'm sorry if I'm I was emotional. I didn't mean upset you guys, but um, I just want to show how much of a huge fan I am of them. And happened to have a, my books around, lying around. <laughs> I don't know where they are right here. They're in the other room. But, um, yeah, and now I have a poster of them. I want to get more stuff from them. Uh, like more merchandise. I have my shirt. This is the tie dye one. It's pretty neat. It costs 20 bucks. It happens to be the cheapest one there is. The one I got was like 40 fucking bucks. And this is the one I got. And I can set it down real quick. Um, this is the one I got. This is a nice one, too. But I like the tie dye one since I like tie dye. But this is awesome. This is a good one too. But yeah, fucking sick, fucking awesome. But um, yeah, guys. Um, I'm sorry if I upset you guys. I didn't mean to do that. It just it was fucking beautiful, man. <laughs> you know, like I was sitting up and I was singing with the audience. I don't do that when it comes down to going to other concerts in life. You know, this will mean a lot to me. <laughs> you know, especially hearing my song get called out to me. You know, that meant something. You know, <sighs> but uh, but yeah, guys. Um, oh yeah, sadly Gary wasn't there. Um, Johnny, uh, Ronnie, um, his brother Johnny. He's, aka the legacy, the the generation of.